Welcome back to Pursuit of Accuracy. I'm Josh. Today we're going to be doing part three of the ammo testing. We're going to be shooting some Ely Match out of the MTR again. Completely stock MTR minus the Yoda trigger kits. We're going to shoot uh, three groups, three five shot groups after some Fowlers with the Ely Match through the MTR barrel. And then I'm going to go ahead and put on the Lilja 22 long rifle barrel. We're going to put that on this guy. We're going to shoot it. So, uh, um, this stuff showed pretty good promise um, out of this Lilja. The Liljas are actually cut for an Ely chamber. So I'm just interested to see if the uh, Lilja is going to outperform the stock MTR barrel with this. Um, so we'll still be counting this for the stock testing. Um, this against Ely Club, 10X, Center X, and all the other kinds of uh, major performers out there for match ammo. But we're just going to happen to throw the Lilja in on this too because I'm just uh, curious to see what it'll do. Um, anyway, target's out there at 50 yards, camera's on the target. Uh, like I said, we'll shoot about uh, five, ten siders and uh, get it dialed in. We'll see what we got. All right, do a couple siders. See where we're at and shoot some groups. Ely match. Close enough, go to the groups. First five round group. Pretty good so far. Group number two. real good there all right last group with the stock mtr barrel and then we'll go to the lilja Opening up on this one. All right, change barrels and uh, come back and we'll do the next set. We're back. Got the little John. What we're gonna do is run. Uh, Five to ten fowlers, depending on how this shoots, and uh, barrel's completely cold. It's a little cool out this morning, so may shoot ten to get it warm. Um, and we'll go right into it, and then we'll shoot the last three. So this is with the Lilja. Okay. Hello? Go. 
little stuff here. Right. Come left a little. Into that top right hole. Better, a little left. Not bad. Come right one more. All right. Good enough. We'll shoot uh, three five shot groups now. See what we get. Second target. Looking good so far. Last group. Alright, as always, I'm going to go grab that uh, target, bring it up here, measure them with a caliper, see what we got. We're back with the target, and as you see, the uh, gun did pretty good, both barrels with the uh, match. So, uh, Ely match again, about 15 bucks a box, so more expensive than Setter X, not as expensive as Ely 10X. Um, this has been really consistent, and uh, I shot, this is actually my buddy's ammo, I shot some of this through the Lilgen, I was getting four feet per second standard deviation and dropping across like 10 to 15 shots, which is ridiculously good, especially for long range shooting. Um, so I'm probably gonna throw down a group with this today at uh, probably gonna do 180 yards on steel just to see what this thing can do. Um, but anyways, uh, back to the groups. So you can see here with a stock MTR barrel, we shot a 0 .35, 0 .2, and a .52. Um, third group opened up. I don't think it was me. Um, I think the barrel was just getting a little heat in it and it just is what it is um, But that gives us a 0.35 average, which is pretty freaking good And we swapped over to the little gem. We shot a 0 0.3 0 0.37 and a 0.25 giving us a 0.3 average um, I can pretty much tell you that that 0.37 was me um, At 20 power even at 50 yards with the size of these bullet holes and the target it gets hard to tell I broke one of those shots thinking I may have been a little low and sure enough, drag one down. But anyway, it counts. It is what it is. Um, still 0.3 average. Um, out of this Lilja, that's really good. Um, that's pretty much more consistent than the Center X I was shooting. Um, across the Chrono, it was 
um, twice as consistent with standard deviation. So the center X was giving me eight feet per second. And like I said, the uh, Ely match was giving me four feet per second. But anyway, that's uh, part three in the books. As always guys, I appreciate you. We'll catch you next time.